say she's pretty quick. What's up with it, YouTubes? Quattro for live here. Just bringing you guys a video today. How to set up this uh, launch control shift cut on the uh, VEMS ECU. If you don't have a VEMS ECU, um, you can definitely contact Mark Swanson, the EFI Express. That's where I got mine. Uh, everybody in, in the community know that Mark is a uh, very, very good guy. Um, very, very knowledgeable. Um, definitely knows his shit. Uh, he can help you out with pretty much anything on the car. But most of all, you know, he can get you the ECU and some injector at a pretty decent price, give you a nice base map where you can get started. Or, you know, if you're too afraid to, you know, mess with it, then, you know, he can do the tuning for you remotely. Or you can get it on his dyno, it would be pretty cool too. But, you know, I just uh, tune the car myself. Uh, I did not know how to use the software or how to use any software before I had this one. So I definitely think it is... Um, you know, e, uh, user friendly. Um, it's it's pretty simple. It, it's nothing too crazy, um, like some of the new stuff out there that you would just get lost. So, um, but they all pretty much have the same basic principles. But uh, for this video, this is how you're gonna set up the launch control. So definitely look up uh, Mark Swanson uh, article on this topic. He's got a article that uh, explains in detail how to set this up. Some of that might be a little confusing, like setting up the relay, so this video is going to be, you know, to help you figure out uh, basically how to do that. Um, the relay is probably the tricky part, but for now, we need to uh, get our channel for the launch control. We've got the ECU, of course. Uh, the wires coming out, you got the O2, and then you got your auxiliary. So this is basically the auxiliary input. Anything you need to add is going to be here. So for mine, I got uh, this is my second fuel pump uh, for high boost. We're not going to go over that today. This is the launch control. This one's a shift cut. Um, each of these circuits need the circuit needs to be grounded to activate. So basically, um, that's how you find the channel. So you go on your computer to the ADC all and all your channels are going to pop up. If you look on Mark's write up, he says you need the 5 volt reference, which for me it's channel 6. So you take your connector and you get your jumper wire. So the other side of this is on ground over here and you basically just um, hit each pin, ground each pin until you find the channel that you need. I already know which one it is so for the sake of time I'm just going to go ahead and ground that one. I think I lost my ground over here. That's not good. There we go. So see that go to zero on there? Give it a close look. So that one go to zero. So that's for the launch control. So we know which channel that is. So I mark which pin it is so we know. And then we need one more channel for the uh, shift cut. I use this first one, which is channel zero. Um, like I said, for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and ground the pin. It should go right to zero. There you go. So basically, we know which pin we need. It's For me, it's the top left is channel six, and top right, channel zero. So those are the, the two pins that I need. So we need to get them to ground, but we're not going to use the ground right here. We're going to use the ground on the driver's side because we're going to wire up our relay to switch that circuit because it's right by the clutch switch. So let's go ahead and go over there and to that side of the circuit and see how that stuff works. All right, so now here we are, driver's side, got the kick panel removed. We got um, the ground right here. So basically this ground is the, that's blue wire. It goes all the way to the ECU. But before it goes there, we need to go through the clutch switch. But the problem with it going through the clutch switch is your cruise control switch, when you press it, it opens and we need it to close because it opens to uh, turn off cruise control but in order to swap that um, like Mark said you need to use uh, pin 87A on the relay so we have just like a generic you can get these at the auto parts store um, I've got two of them right here launch control shift cut so this is it right here uh, it's pretty simple here's all the pins so you have Let's see, you have power, ground, this one right here is the switch for the uh, clutch switch, 
and then 87A is the term in the middle, so that one is what's going to send ground to our uh, ECU. 87 you're not going to use. So basically how this works is starting at the ground, we're going to go to the clutch switch because the switch is what is going to um, close the circuit. So that way when we're off the clutch, the circuit is open so it's not turning launch control on unless you have the clutch down. So if you look right here, the blue wire comes up here to go back to the clutch switch from ground, but it splices off here. I'll go ahead and take this relay down so you can see. So it splices off to the relay right here and then there's like a little jumper since I have two relays you have to jump this wire to this one so they both are getting the same uh, amount from the circuit. So from there it goes through the switch and then back through this wire back to the relay on the ground side. So that's basically between those two that's how the clutch switches the relay on and off. So that's the ground for the relay on this terminal 86. So power is going to come from this 15A. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in. You should have battery voltage right there. That's going to go to pin number 85. And then same thing, a jumper wire to go to the other relay if you have two relays. And then the last one is going to be the 87A, which is in the middle. And that's going to be your going to the ECU like for the uh, um, auxiliary input for launch control and then for me I got shift cut too. So that's basically how that work. Um, probably a little confusing at first. I know it definitely was for me but you know just break it down one by one and uh, you know just uh, check check everything as you go make sure it's all right. So that's basically um, the ground going to the computer, um, it's switched with the relay, but before we get to the computer, we need to go through a switch, so that way it's not just engaging randomly, like just driving normally, pressing the clutch and shifting gears and go bang, bang. You know, you don't definitely don't want that. You know, so I'm gonna show you the switches I got for that. All right, this be the factory switch that I use. Pretty simple, you know, you got your wire um, coming from the clutch switch to the computer, so this is basically in between them to basically interrupt the signal if you don't want um, to be using it. So basically when this is off, the circuit's open, and then when it's on like that, the circuit closes and completes the circuit uh, for the path uh, to travel. So we can just double check that real quick. Uh, pins 1 through 6 on here, this one pretty simple, 4 and 6. Um, and I basically found that out just by using the meter, but I've already got them set up just for the sake of time. So I'll go ahead and throw those in there. Set it to resistance, and we should be at infinity with it open. Or off, and then if we turn it on, we should have low resistance. Look at that. 1 ohm, less than 1 ohm. Off, on. So that's completing the circuit right there, which is turning it on. So that's basically how you figure that out. So all you do is, is you run the, um, like I said, from the relay from the clutch switch to one terminal, and then from the computer, uh, from the uh, input, auxiliary input, to the other terminal, doesn't matter which one, uh, just that's how you complete that circuit. So let's just go ahead and get that installed in there. Here's my switches. Uh, something weird you might notice though, the fog lights and all that shit is over here. Um, I basically flipped it around and the reason why is because my new clutch switch is a momentary switch, meaning that it only work when you press the button. So when I'm in first gear like this, I could press with my finger, hold it down to activate launch control, but then when I let the clutch out to launch, I just let right off and go to second gear so that way it will disconnect, um, open the circuit and not uh, engage launch control going to second gear and cut out that was my issue I was having so this button fixed the issue and then uh, obviously you got the shift cut which stay on but that's no issue you want that to stay on so out of the 87A terminal on the relay 
um, you're going up to the switch so these both work the same way two pin so we looked at this one so for example the shift cut we're gonna go up to that terminal 4 that we had and it's gonna go into terminal 4 then you got one coming out terminal 6 to the uh, input that we found which is channel 0 for shift cut for me and then same thing other relay 87A coming out going into one side of the switch coming out the other side going to the pin that we found for channel 6 once you get those hooked up then you can go into the settings and make sure that the channel is actually registering so we got input channel 6 which is what we need um, launch control setting, max RPM, fuel enrichment, ignition retard, the thing that you find out over time but the factor setting will work fine but we know that one's on the right one so let's just check the shift cut um, so input channel zero that's good uh, so for this one we got uh, cut spark enabled, cut fuel disabled but here is how you get the shift cut to work right here it says, I don't know if you can see, it says shift cut activate below this threshold 1.2 shift cut activate above this threshold 5 so basically what it means is basically 5 volt and 1.2 so if you use if you don't have launch control and you hook it up on the 5 volt channel you know it's gonna work just fine but I found that it works just fine on the channel with 4 volts that I found as well so just leave these settings because it's never gonna go above 5 volts so it's won't come on over that and it's only gonna go on below 1.2 so anytime you press so that's set up so basically to check and make sure that everything is working I'm going to press the shift cut button and our channel 0 when I press the clutch should go to 0 so I'll press it now excellent press it let off press it okay that's good so we look at the shift cut or the launch control channel and see that that's going because we have to hold the button press and hold it so if I just hold the clutch down and just press and hold the button there you go zero let off press so that's how you know it's working and you know uh, it's set up to those channels so to check the launch you got this little uh, see what says launch off so press the clutch pedal press the button look at that launch on so that's a good way to double check. Good way to double check and make sure that that is working before you go out and uh, you know piss off your neighbors like me. So um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, any question, comment? You know, I try to do what I can to answer. I definitely want to make this video to help um, anybody that is having trouble. Um, I personally had trouble myself uh, when I first started, but you know just. Take ting one thing at a time, um, but yeah, hopefully this uh, hopefully this will help you guys out. And I will definitely be making a video with launch control from the exterior. Um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty fuck sweet. So you know, you guys will stay tuned. We've got a lot more shit coming this year, and you know, we just we just gonna do what we do. So just thank you everybody for watching, and hope everybody have a very good day.